The federal government released its fall economic statement yesterday with billions in spending earmarked to increase Canada's housing supply, but some question how much of that relief will reach our region. The economic statement presented by the Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister, Christopher Freeland, projects a $40 billion deficit in 2023-24. On the housing front, the Feds announced $15 billion in low-cost loans for companies to build new rental properties. The Lakehead University economics professor, Livio Di Matteo, says it's unlikely northwestern Ontario will get a significant share. It's a pretty much one-size-fits-all fiscal statement. I mean, this... These incentive programs, these loans will be made available to developers everywhere. Uh, prices in Thunder Bay and northwestern Ontario are, are certainly not at the level of Vancouver or Toronto. So, I mean, uh, a lot of these measures are uh, designed to address housing pressures in, I mean, those major urban centres where the, the pressure is greater. The Conservative MP for Kenora, Eric Melillo, in a media release stressed his disappointment with the Liberals' economic plan and what he calls more inflationary spending. He accuses the Liberals of failing to make housing in this region a priority.